Guys, time to make our easy, easy sausage bread sausage ring. I have different varieties for sausage bread, including for Easter time. But let's just concentrate. This is just a, this is just a fun snack for like a football day, game day. You know what I'm saying? Um, so right now, you want a half a cup of cooked ground sausage. You could get a link or two of sausage and cook it that way. Take it out of the casing. I just got this. It's Italian sausage in a roll. I'm going to cut this in half and cook up eight ounces and then take a half a cup from there. Um, I buttered this really liberally, really, really well. Okay. That's your fluted uh, pan. I have two tablespoons of butter. I'm going to melt for later for when I assemble this, I'm going to drizzle it with melted butter. Here's homemade pesto. I'll get back to that. You're going to want two, two cans of flaky biscuits. This is a 16, I believe 16, almost 16 and a half ounce cans. Yeah, 16.3. Let's put the light on, shall we? Hang on. There you go. Much better. So the two of those cans, one bag of a five cheese Italian blend. And you can see it has mozzarella, has provolone, has uh, a little uh, uh, cheddar asiago, romano, which is your um, pecorino romano. So this, okay. So all I'm going to do off camera is, like I said, cut this in half and cook this up. To make pesto, I made pesto the other night for macaroni and I did not make a video. But guys, it's really simple. You take about two cups of a basil. You put it in a blender or a food processor, a little mini one, whatever you have at home. You put about two cups of fresh basil in there. You put about a good heaping half a cup of Parmesan cheese. You could get it ground already. Put it in there, a little salt, a little pepper to taste. Two to four cloves of garlic um, and pine nuts, P-I-N-E nuts, or you may know them as Pignoli, P-I-G-N-O-L-I. Nuts. It's what's on Pignoli cookies with the almond paste. Um, usually around Christmas time, they're delicious. Uh, anyway, that and oh, about a half a cup. No, excuse me, about a quarter of a cup of the pine nuts goes into that blender, and you blend it all together. It's all broken up, and then slowly, with the blender on or your food processor on, you take about two thirds to three fourths cup of extra virgin olive oil. A decent a tasting one and you slowly drizzle the olive oil into your basil mixture and then voila you will have this and it's delicious very yummy basil parmesan cheese pignoli salt pepper garlic and then your olive oil it smells good already who doesn't like the smell of sweet italian sausage cooking right this is gonna be good. I, I did not put any oil in the pan because there's enough fat and grease from this mixture. Guys, here's our hair for a heaping cup of cooked sausage. It's brown, but I did not overcook it because it's gonna continue to cook in the oven for 30 minutes. There's nothing worse than dried out meat where you kill it twice. I know that I keep saying that, but it's true. Guys, we'll show you on the first one. I'm gonna take a teaspoon. I'll show you what a teaspoon looks like of pesto okay okay you're gonna smear it in just like so okay all around then you're gonna want a teaspoon of your sausage mix you have to break it up a little bit more that's fine too this is about a teaspoon. Okay, I'm gonna probably just use my fingers. Um, try now on, just like this. You can do a little bit more than a teaspoon, but like this, okay? Then you're gonna do, I'll show you what a tablespoon of the cheese mixture looks like. And then I'm gonna do four all together like this, stacked, up, stacked on top of each other. Then I'm gonna squish them down, put them sideways, and put them in the pan and I'll show you what I mean. So here's about a tablespoon. Okay, just like this. Then we're gonna take another one. I'm gonna do this again. And there's gonna be one, two, three, four. Stack it down. Oh. Then when I get four, I'm gonna turn it sideways and put it in the prepared pan. 
So I was going to go teaspoon of pesto, a good heaping teaspoon or a little bit more of your sausage, and then a tablespoon of the cheese. In case you wanted to see it again. Okay, that's the pesto. There's the sausage. And here we go. I'm going to do it again. I forgot to mention in the beginning, you're going to want a, a good half feed, a half a cup of pesto, good half a cup of a heaping half a cup of pesto. Guys, I'm going to pick this stock up like this. And when I put it, I'm going to turn it sideways, then I'll do this, this part when it's in the pan, like this. Here's the greased pan, I'm squishing it down, put it in like this. Just like this. There you go. Now I'm going to do this side. Guys, I put pesto on. I did not put the chopped meat or the... Uh, cheese on. I'm going to get my other stock ready and then you know I'm going to get my other uh, stock ready and then I'll put before I put the other stock in here I'll put the meat and cheese on here and then take that stock that's already ready and stick it right on the side of this so this doesn't fall apart and that's how I'll work around the pan. Let's see. Okay. Guys, you know what we're going to have about one fourth cup cheese. Um, I res I'm going to reserve one fourth cup cheese Set it aside because I'm going to sprinkle this on top of um, the biscuits before we bake them in the oven. And if I had more mozzarella, just straight up mozzarella in the refrigerator, I would definitely sprinkle a little bit of that on. But we don't. For all my vegetarian friends out there, you can make this meatless. You can use plant-based um, stuff. And I know some of you don't like lentils, but you could use your plant-based meat here so you can see the rest just walloping down like this okay okay so now I'm going to stick this in that 350 preheated oven um, for about 30 minutes pull it out I want to put the rest of the cheese on I have a one fourth cup I said reserved I'm going to probably put a little bit more because I have a pinch more in the bag and then I'm going to put the foil on and then put it back in the oven for the last five minutes. So right now, uncovered 30 minutes at 350. You can check after 25. Here it is. This is what it looks like when it comes out. Now I'm going to sprinkle the cheese on, put a foil on, and um, put it back in the oven for five minutes. Don't mind this mess back here if you see it. Like that. I'm making apple stuffed pork chops. So let me get the cheese and some of it. Out. So sprinkle it on, sprinkle it on like this. If you wanted to, you could also do a little sprinkle of Asiago if you had it, or Lacata or Pecorino Romano or um, Parmesan Reggiano. You could do a little sprinkle of that as well. If you had extra mozzarella in your refrigerator, by all means, you could sprinkle that on. Just like this down in the crevices. It's almost like a, a monkey bread, if you will. Okay, I think that's good. Let me finish the cheese. This is um a little bit more than a fourth of a cup. Okay, just like this. I'm going to put foil on it and stick it back in the oven for five minutes. 350 still. Rub. Okay, covers the foils on it now. Back in the oven. Five minutes. Pull off the foil. And say, voila, together. Is that nice or what? Yum, yum. That's hot. Hang on, because it's hot even for me. Yum, yum, and yum. And it smells amazing. If you wanted to, you could throw a little shredded chicken in there. Okay? Um, you could do anything you want with this. You could, but well, we have the, um, Sausage, but chicken would be good, good in here uh, too. Okay. 
eyes. Let's rip into this right now. We'll put it on a little plate. Okay. Let's start on this side, I guess. Or no. This cooled about 10 to 15 minutes in the pan. I want to say 15. Okay, hold on. Yum. Oh. Just like this. Oh, you can't even see. Hold on. Delicious, guys. Totally delicious. Guys, this is delicious. Next time I would add the whole pan of sausage for sure. I like a lot of sausage. Very good. Very delicious. There you go. Yum. That's part. Look at that. It is so good. Yummy.